Hello everyone, it's been a while since we last uploaded a video, but we're excited to be back with some valuable content for you. In one of our previous videos, we showed you how to host a website with a database using Triple Zero Web Host. Unfortunately, Triple Zero Web Host no longer offers free hosting services. But don't worry, in this video, I'll guide you through Infinity Free, an excellent platform where you can still host your website for free with database support. Let's dive in and explore how to get started with Infinity Free. Type infinityfree.com in your browser's address bar and press enter. Click on register now. Enter your email address and password. Agree to the terms of service by checking the box. Click on Sign Up. Next, go to your email inbox to verify your email address. You can either click the button provided in the email or copy the link and paste it into your browser's address bar. For this tutorial, I'll copy the link. Let me close this tab since I no longer need it. Once your email is verified, click on Create Account. As you can see, Infinity Free offers various payment plans, but it also has a free plan, which is what we'll be using. Click on Create Now. Here, I'm going to choose a subdomain. Infinity Free provides a free subdomain, but if you want a custom domain name, you'll need to purchase one. These days, it's challenging to find a free domain name, and even Freenum, which used to offer free domains, has discontinued its service. For this tutorial, we'll stick with the subdomain provided by Infinity Free. I'll select the shortest domain name available to combine with my subdomain. Ensure your subdomain is unique to make it available. Once you've chosen, click on Check Availability. You can either change the default password or leave it as it is. I recommend changing to your own password. Choose I Approve, click Create Account. If you choose to change the default password, ensure it's different from the one used during account registration. I'm creating a unique password for this. Your account is now created. Wait for the page to redirect automatically or refresh it after two minutes if it doesn't. Now, let's create a database. Click on MySQL Databases. Click on Create Database. Enter your desired database name. Click on Create Database. 
The database has been successfully created. Next, we'll manage the database through PHP MyAdmin. Click on PHP MyAdmin. For this tutorial, I won't create database tables because I already have a database. Instead, I'll import the database for my website. If you're unfamiliar with importing and exporting databases, check out my previous video, the link is in the description. Click on Import, click Choose File, select your database file, click Open. Click on Go. The database has been successfully imported. Remember, you'll use PHP MyAdmin whenever you need to manage your database. Now, let's edit the database connection file for the website. Open it and input the details provided by Infinity Free in your account dashboard. Finally, I'll upload the website files. Click on File Manager. Open the htdocs folder. Delete the two default files. Then drag and drop all your website files into this folder. That's it! Your website is now hosted successfully using Infinity Free. Thank you for watching, and if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials. See you in the next video!